In a sense, the UFO phenomenon is a vision of a new age, of a call to rise towards evolution. If one studies ancient texts and religious writings, one will repeatedly come across references of gods and angels or demons, the latter two words formally having the same meaning. Angels walk with man, teaching him and guiding him with the benefits of agriculture and civilization. The Book of Enoch and the Karsic epics, for instance, detail much of this influence in 9th and 8th millennium Sumer. Ultimately, when the gods departed, these angels were physically destroyed and their intelligences removed to non-physical realms, perhaps what Kiel terms the super spectrum, and this is suggested in the so-called fall of the Old Testament. The concept of the UFO phenomenon possessing a demonic aspect is not a particularly new one. To speak of the demonic aspect is not to describe it in terms of a Christian position, but it is a term which encompasses the nature of these elements, particularly when we compare the modern UFO phenomena with medieval reports of angels and demons. In scientific parlance, we might perhaps describe them as AIs, artificial intelligences, the computer terminology suggestion that these beings have been artificially created and programmed by some higher intelligence. It has been suggested that these creations were developed to act as communication links between early hominids and their creators. Thus, the AI would also mean artificial intermediary, suggesting that we would be dealing with a phenomena which is in truth more instrument than life force. In effect, we are conditioning these elements through our own species field or collective unconscious. This grand deception has seemingly operated at all levels of human culture and has created a diversity of beliefs and theories in an attempt to bring a semblance of understanding to the spawn of absurdity and contradictions that the phenomenon has engendered. Much of the UFO data is too fluid to be captured in any net that proponents of the extraterrestrial hypotheses carry. It is also too porous for the armchair psychologists who dismiss the data by repeating unproven psychological theories. It is precisely because it is such a porous and malleable artifact that the phenomenon will appear to adapt itself to such cultural interpretations as the extraterrestrial hypotheses. The iceberg that floats silently beneath the ocean of man's consciousness, penetrating deep into our external reality through visions, communications with unseen beings, encounters with angels, spirits, demons, monsters, gods, and alien entities, and sightings of varied aerial objects that suggest an armada of many forms. All of this is composed of an intelligent and plastic matrix, an intelligence that can shapeshift and disguise itself, masters of psychological warfare, because this intelligence was originally created millennia ago by higher intelligences to monitor and assist the development of mankind Certain groups, ostensibly those within a spiritual or magical framework, are more amenable to contact and manipulation. A too rationalistic viewpoint can, however, fail to observe and identify the underlying and obscure currents that weave themselves throughout history. In this way, the influence of such conspiratorial groups and their guiding intelligences can be seen to have been active throughout history. Indeed, the stage upon which this cosmic war is being fought encompasses many varied components, psychic, magical, mythological, sociological, technological. By piercing through the smokescreen, the cosmic ocean of consciousness surrounding the islands of mankind will be exposed and the nature of the AIs made transparent 
as to will man's responsibilities. Let us descend into the darkened recesses of human experience and confront that which lies within the shadow of man. Occultists have long been in communion with astral entities, many of these intelligences bearing a distinct resemblance to our modern-day extraterrestrial aliens. Are we in fact dealing with an interdimensional, earth-orientated phenomenon that controls our perceptions using symbolism and by tapping into our emotions? There is no dichotomy between the apparent contradictions in its subjective effects and its physical manifestations. They are two sides of the mirror, but for too long it has remained a one-way mirror that only presents us with a way that we really see ourselves subconsciously, yet precludes us from seeing the tangled skeins which hold together this mythic universe, reflecting not only our inner psychic and mythic worlds, but another world which has long sought a parasitic dominion over mankind. It is time to break the mirror.